Uh, let's kill you with some truth. Um, the only thing that was more sloppy than this game tonight, a win, is perhaps my hair. I mean, I, I don't even know what's going on. And the, the beard's ridiculous. And while I'm overdue to get this straightened out, the Avalanche are way overdue for a game that you can feel good about. And I think this 4-3 to three win over the Coyotes helps but again there were lapses there were leads that were blown there were opportunities that weren't taken advantage of but way more good than bad uh, Nathan McKinnon got a goal and an assist nice for him so his 26 point home scoring streak continues uh, Georgiev gets a win but it's a typical Georgiev type of win right I mean he got the win, but there were a couple goals in there that were just like, yay, yay, yay. But what defined this game is the, the game itself. I mean, there were three goal reviews, and Jared Bednar said after the game that, you know, he um, liked all of them. There was a penalty review, and the goal review uh, helped the Avs on McKinnon's goal. It was good. Uh, and on a Coyotes goal, no good, and um, took one away, but the Avs were likely offsides on that. I, I mean, listen, they weren't likely. They were definitely offsides. It was a weird game. It was a slow game. I don't, I'm not sure what the official time on it was, but baseball thought this game took forever. That being said, Jack Johnson said the pace didn't really matter. Taves wasn't, you know... Didn't care about it. Um, Colton called it a shit show. <laughs> so, <laughs> but happy, happy that they won. Uh, Nathan McKinnon's face t continues to take ungodly abuse as he got hit and drew blood that led to a four-minute power play for the Avs that they didn't cash in on. So it, it it's good to, for them to be at home. They all said that, and you know we we've often heard. When it comes to the Nuggets, one of the harder games to play off a long road trip is the first game at home. So hopefully that's not the case Tuesday night when the Avs go after it again and then they're on the road against the Red Wings. But the schedule's not nearly as brutal as what they've just gone through. Jared Bednar expressed more relief, happy with how the, the squad dug in. Um, the opening minutes of the game were slanting way towards the Coyotes, and the Avs have had just a brutal time against the Coyotes, period. So, they won. They're 21-5 and five at home. The Avalanche are incredible at home. Um, Jared Bednar said, after a crappy road trip, it's good to be back in front of your home crowd. Boy, if there is one very succinct and accurate way to oh, is that kid waving at me? Hi, buddy. What's up, pal? What's up? Hey, wave at him, too. We'll wave at everybody here. I don't care. It's what we do here. Kill you with true style. Listen, was it a crappy road trip? That's a nice way to put it. Uh, that thing was absolutely brutal, and it's great to have a sold-out crowd behind the avalanche with a weird start. Everything about this game was, was odd. You know, the Coyotes are a weird team, but a good team. Um, or at least a good team against the Avalanche. The starting time was at 4 o'clock, which was odd, but by the time that we're finishing up, it feels like it's just, you know, uh, a late as normal start. They're back. Nobody really knows what to make of this team. Um, they're so strong at home. They have so many talented players. Here, give me a wave. Give me a wave. Give me a, give me a wave. Give me a wave. You got to give me a wave. There it is. There it is. <laughs> so listen, we end on a happy note as we get uh, get away from the Zam. I'm happy with it. I'm sure you're happy with it too. The Avs win four to three. Whoo! That was a weird one. It was strange. I'll kill you with truth. It was a weird game, but they won, and that's the bottom line. And Nathan McKinnon's face is. Uh, it's, it's getting beat up. I don't know how else to put it. Okay, we'll talk to you uh, hockey style from Ball Arena on Tuesday night. Kill you with truth. Hockey's back.